One thing that I really, really like regretted in this particular rotation was What's up you guys, this is Donna. Welcome back to my channel. So you guys, I am talking to you about my clinical rotation and some of you know that I'm doing my emergency medicine clinical rotation right now. But actually, like some breaking news, um, I'm actually now done with my emergency medicine rotation, which is crazy because it blew by the weeks just kind of fly when you're actually seeing patients, which is cool. You know, I'm not counting down the days until my test or until my vacation. So I really like that. Um, so that's what we're going to be talking about today. What my emergency medicine rotation was really like. So I have completed four full weeks of emergency medicine. Um, it was absolutely amazing. Like I told you guys in my last video about this rotation, they kind of just threw me in the first day I was seeing patients. Um, I was actually doing procedures and doing the general, you know, actual physical exam and all of that stuff. So it was really, really cool and nothing changed, which is what I really loved about this rotation and this particular rotation site. I was able to do pretty much whatever I wanted to do. And now, I mean, obviously we're taking that within context of patient safety and all of that, but there was no limitations. Really, I could only limit myself unless, you know, I did something and maybe they were like, oh no, Donna, you can't do that. Let's talk about this, which didn't happen. So it was an amazing experience. I was able to just say, hey, can I go see the patient in bed five or bed three? And they were like, yeah, go ahead. And then just come and tell me about it, which was really cool because it was, it was kind of just empowering in a sense. So I really love that aspect of it. Kind of like the autonomy, I guess you could say, that they allowed me to go and see patients. And then when I came back and presented, obviously I didn't have the same preceptor throughout because I was working with you know different PAs and then also different attendings. So their different teaching styles was also pretty beneficial because there were some that would be like, so what's your plan and what's your assessment of this whole situation? And then we will go through and they'll be like, oh, well maybe you should be thinking about this or why are you using that particular medication? So that was really great because it allowed me to just kind of think of all of those different things that you don't necessarily think about immediately with respect to treating the patient. Another thing that I really liked about this rotation was learning the specific antibiotics for that area. So obviously you learn antibiotics in school and what will treat a particular disease. However, at the same time, you have to be cognizant of your area that you're working in and what is susceptible to particular antibiotics and what is resistant to others. So that was cool, just kind of on that learning curve, learning all of those different things. And then the main thing that I really loved about it was the actual procedures. Guys, like I got super proficient in doing pelvic exams. <laughs> um, like I'm, you know, I don't want to my own horn but no I'm just kidding I don't want to do my own horn you guys but I'm like really good now at doing pelvic exams and um, some of you may be like ew like who cares but I really I really appreciate that you know just being able to get in there and experience that and do it and be like hey yeah I'll do I'll do the pelvic exam with you or I'll do the pelvic exam for you and you can just supervise me so that was really cool and also I got really proficient in doing lack repairs and wound cleaning because um, I did a lot of INDs of abscesses which you guys know I love and then I also did a lot of laceration repairs from different accidents or you know not accidents like assaults so that was something that I really 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 like when I went to the main side because that particular ED is kind of broken up into four different areas with your really really sick patients your sick patients but they're stable your um, you know, kind of just sick patients and you're not super sick patients. So when I went to the main side, which has like you're really, really sick and you know, you're sick but stable patients, um, I saw a lot of different things. I saw PEs, you know, I saw 
CVAs, I saw traumas. Now the trauma service is different and I know one of you had a question about that with respect to if you work in an ED, are you also working in the trauma unit? And I think that's all dependent on the particular hospital that you're working with. So if you're working in a more like rural area, I feel like the trauma unit and the ED unit is one in the same. But for the particular hospital that I was working at on this rotation, the trauma unit is separate from the ED unit in terms of the actual providers there. So although the emergency department will, um, the EMS will bring in a trauma patient to the emergency department, the trauma team dealt with that patient. So I got to just kind of slide in a little and see what they did, but I'll get to actually be hands on when I do that rotation in three months. So I'm really excited about that. One thing that I really, really like regretted in this particular rotation was not knowing another language, specifically Spanish. So I had a lot of patients that were Spanish speaking and we were able to um, get different translators and there's like a little translator app thing that the hospital uses as well to communicate with the patient. But I feel like being able to actually talk to them one-on-one, -on -one, you know, like understanding what they're saying and me relaying the different um, educational points upon discharge to those patients would have been really beneficial. So that is something that I'm gonna try to do, you guys. Like, you know, mark my words, at the end of this year, I'm gonna know a good amount of Spanish. I'm trying to be um, pretty proficient in Spanish because of this rotation, because um, I know that a lot of my, uh, my actual patients are gonna be Spanish-speaking patients. Another language that was seen a lot or heard a lot was also French. So that's something that maybe I could pick up a little later on, but I'm gonna start off with Spanish because I already have a bit of a foundation in that. Other than that, it was really cool. You know, my schedule was pretty like decent. We worked a lot of 10s um, and 11 hour shifts. So they seem long, but when you're actually seeing patients, it goes by really, really fast. And even my overnight shifts were pretty, pretty easy, you guys, because I'll start at nine and I'll get off at seven, but really from around two o'clock to seven, you're not really seeing patients. Whoever is there is there, and, and that's it. Like People aren't really coming in with new complaints. So I really like this rotation. Everybody's been asking me, what do I wanna do? Do I know? And I'm not sure if I wanna be in the ED, but I have left um, two electives open in case I wanted to redo an ED rotation um, because I really, really liked it. I will, again, be doing like a start of rotation and end of rotation wrap up just to talk to you guys about what I'm doing. My next rotation is CT surgery, which is cardiothoracic surgery. I'm really excited about it. Uh, I don't know what to expect, so I'll talk to you guys about that after my first week, but other than that, um, I am done. Thank you guys so much for watching and following me on this journey. You guys already, one rotation down. What, I, like, I am baffled. We have 13 more to go. We're almost there, you guys. <laughs>